Marcelo to Mariano. Looks to bend one, brilliantly done. That puts a seal on another excellent match day one for Real Madrid. Mariano Diaz. All right, boys, welcome to this Team of the Season Moments review of Mariano, one of the squad battles objectives cards for the week. Um, really, really decent card for only playing squad battles. I think you need to play in total about six squad battles games with one clean sheet that you have to do as well and score with players with over 80 physical and also score a finish shot with players than less than a four-star weak foot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's four-star weak foot or it might be something different. I can't actually remember. But this Mariano is 5'11". He's got high and medium work rates. He is also right-footed with four, three-star, four-star. If you can get over the fact that he has three-star skill moves, then this card is actually really decent. As you can see, in nine games, we scored 10 goals and had seven assists. I really uh, actually enjoyed playing with this card. As you can see, like, his stats are actually really decent. I have put a dead-eye chemistry style on him. I'd probably recommend an engine or a sniper just to get his balance and uh, his composure up like that. But he has 94 reactions as well on top of, like, basically 99 shot power with the chem style and maxed out finishing. His pace is really good. His stamina is actually okay for 84. He'd probably be a sub if you... Um, What's it called? In the weekend league. I don't think he's ready for a full weekend league, but he'll probably be going into, a, what's it called, a SBC down the road. So, yeah, this is the team I was using in the gameplay, except Griezmann was Anaki Williams. So I'm just going to show you my actual team, and I'll show you where he probably fits in in the actual squad. I don't think he's going to make the starting 11 at all. Um, I don't know whether he'll actually make the bench either. So these are my super subs. So definitely, like, a Vardy's better, but for a free card, you can't really go wrong with this. Like... I would say he's better than this Griezmann 100%. He's probably close to this Bergwijn. If he had a four-star skill moves and a five-star weak foot, he would definitely be absolutely insane. But EA can't be going ahead and doing too much uh, crazy shit with uh, free cards, basically, because he's just a squad battles card. So yeah, let's jump into the gameplay, and I'll tell you what I think of him in-game. All right, boys, so jumping into the gameplay here, we have Mariano in about six or seven games, scoring probably close to 10 goals. As you see this clip here, Mariano playing the 1-2 with uh, Greasy, gets tackled by Rio, gets tackled again, bit of FIFA cheese, gets tackled once again, and then bangs it near post on his left boot. I didn't really utilize his left foot as much as I thought I probably could have while watching the gameplay after. Um, because it's four-star, I mean, you still are very capable of scoring goals with the four-star weak foot, that's for sure. So don't be like afraid that he's got a four-star weak foot. The biggest uh, downfall on the card is the three-star skills in uh, that department because he can't do any like Berber spins or any actually like the lack of header and stuff like that. But I guess the ball roll and the drag back are the most overpowered skill moves in the game currently. So he still can do those, which you can see in the gameplay. So um, overall feel on this card is in heavy gameplay, he is kind of clunky and he's not unusable, but he's definitely not the best card in the game, that's for sure. I really thought that was offside there. So in the comments, let me know if Mariano is offside. Um, yeah, I don't know what the linesman was doing there, but um, yeah, he's actually a decent playmaker as well. As you can see, he seems to get tackled a lot and then just gets the ball back. This uh, clip here, I think he should do better on his left foot, left boot, sorry, I can't actually speak. And uh, his free kicks stats are actually insane, even without the dead eye cam style. This probably would have gone in if it wasn't batted off the line. That might have actually hit the post, but I think Ogbonna got his foot to it. But as you can see, playing the one-two with the Naki Williams, Ball roll, around, ball roll around the keeper. So I think Mariano, he's definitely not ready for the weekend league, that's for sure, because you really need like the five, either a five star weak foot or five star skills. But as a sub, an impact sub at the end of the game, definitely can be utilized as a sub. He's definitely no Adama or anything like that. There's definitely better players that can be utilized as a sub, but for his price of just like six squad battles games, I don't think you can go wrong if you're just starting up ultimate team six squad battles games to get this 89 rated striker if you have a La Liga team that's probably the best spot for him but uh yeah we're going to be heading into the overall rating here just in a minute as he puts it into the top bin with his right foot shushed on that kid because he was going crazy with these uh replays and stuff like that so here we go we have mariano's pros and cons his pros definitely is like 99 finishing and 99 shot power um i don't know but at the very start um his power shot to the far post uh, he can do those pretty easily. And even the near post shots, uh, that's probably what you want to do with him. He also has 99 curve, so I mean, 
definitely good with the finesse shots as well. He also has the sticky, so when he gets tackled, he always gets the ball back as well. Uh, and Run the Foot Market kind of hints at that as one of his, um, what's it called, requirements on a player. He's like Ben Yedder and stuff like that. Also, the four-star weak foot as well. Um, definitely you can use the four-star weak foot on this guy. He's not going to go like missing crazy open nets with his four-star weak foot. But the cons are, he only has three-star skills, so no scoop turns, no nothing like that. He can also feel pretty heavy in bad gameplay. I had a couple games that just felt clunky as, and he didn't feel very agile on the ball. And of course, he is very hard to link with his nation. So you're probably going to have to link him to icons or just Real Madrid players or La Liga players like that. So overall, I'm giving him a 7 out of 10. That's just in the comparison to every other player in the game. So if you guys did enjoy the review, please leave a like on it and comment what review, what player you want me to review in the future. Um, this is my first player review in a very long time, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. And uh, we can only go out from here. So I'll see you guys in the next one.